What's up, dude? It's Chooch out here on the King Song S22 Pro. Now, S22 Pro is a new uh, version of the King Song S22, guys. I know uh, it's kind of confusing on everything that's going on with the S20. They had the S22, then they had that. They had the S20, and then they had the S22. Now they got the S22 Pro. Um, now the S22 Pro is basically um, it, it's refined, guys, and this thing is um, really, really. It's nice. The suspension feels way better in this. And I got to experience the suspension on the first ever, you know, prototype S20. Um, before it was called the S22. I got to, you know, ride the S20, um, and I and I really enjoyed that wheel a lot, guys. Um, I, I it kind of opened up a whole new type of riding for me. This thing is very unique. This is why I, I've always said the S22 is just a unique wheel and. And it really is in its own category. If you look at my buyer guide that I, where I talked about this wheel, it just is. It's just a very weird category for a wheel, guys. It's not great for like everything, but it really is incredible for some things. And it's the only wheel that you can use to do certain jumps and certain trails and certain drops and stuff like that. Like if you're really riding some hardcore mountain bike trails. Um, with this one, with that long suspension travel and that quill suspension you see back there, you can really go off massive drops. You can hit jumps, and it's very forgiving. Um, that's the number one thing that I like about the S22 is the fact that it's a forgiving wheel. Once you get that suspension set up right, um, and this, I mean, this is great for new riders all the way to advanced, guys. Um, I've had situations on this thing where I know if I was on any other wheel with... Um, without suspension or if one if I was riding like say like a t4 or a master that didn't have the travel this thing has this thing has just saved me um, from crashing just because of the great suspension it does have guys um, one day I, I definitely don't recommend ever doing this but one day you know you, you ride a lot I went it was like basically kind of a blind jump I was going into I was it was um, in Boulder, Colorado, and it was like um, over by the library. It was like a um, like a big berm of, of earth, like a big earth berm with um, uh, grass on top of it. And you, from the, my perspective, I looked. It looked like if I jumped it on the other side, it was going to be nothing but you know um, dirt and earth on the other side. But I jumped it on this thing, and there was literally like a gnarly stair set on the other side, guys, with like. Um, like decorative type stairs you know what i you know what i mean like it was like decorative stone steps that had a huge gap in between them and i jumped it on this wheel and landed over there on those stone steps and i know with any other electric unicycle out there there's no way i would have been able to just stay on it and ride it out like that's the number one thing with this wheel you can do some sketchy stuff with it and some crazy jumps and whatnot and if you just stay on it and keep your mindset of i'm going to stay on this wheel that suspension will work, and you will literally stay up on it, man. Just with the inertia of that wheel going and the suspension, it's incredible um, what you can ride through on this thing. And the S22 Pro has a few upgrades, guys. Uh, the suspension sliders come stock in it now. So you're going to have suspension sliders in this thing. Um, and it has an upgraded motor as well. Um, and it also has new MOSFET. So new 150 volt 4.0 um, m in that ch uh, power mosfets and these are 150 volt mosfets but this is a 126 volt wheel so this is basically um the, the mosfets in this are just going to be you know uh, excessive which is basically it's a good thing you you won't um to see things like this so i'm, I'm glad that um king song is doing something like that you know up, and it has a new 4000 watt motor as well and for the riding I'm doing right here, guys, I'm going to be taking this thing out this week to go do some trail riding and stuff and uh, really pushing it. Actually, this weekend and all of next week, I'm going to be really pushing this S22 Pro and bringing you some trail riding stuff with it and showing you what it can do. Um, I might even take it to the city because all the trails, man, are just covered in snow right now, which is not good. Uh, so I might, you know, take it to the city and go do some riding um, with this thing do some drops and some stair sets and all that type of stuff uh, or i might try to find a trail that doesn't have snow on it um we'll see but i'm definitely going to go ride the, the cold does not keep me from riding um it's just the, the places i like to ride kind of get covered with snow and, and that kind of sucks but i'm definitely going to find some spots to go rip the s22 
and um, show you what it can do and show you, you know, basically if the new 4,000 watt motor is noticeable because the only place you're going to be able to notice that is on trails, guys. If one place where this thing lacked if, is, again, I've talked about this on several other wheels, is the, those tight switchbacks that you often experience on mountain bike trails where if you're climbing up a mountain, you, you're coming into switchbacks and whatnot. Um, that's where like a small diameter high torque wheel, like the V12 high torque, just flies around those corners. I mean, literally, you can go around like a mountain switchback on that V12 high torque and it just powers out of it like nothing. With a bigger wheel like this, um, they all kind of struggle with it. But I think them up in the watt hours to 4,000 watt hours on this one, I think it's going to be a great trail riding wheel and I think it's going to really, really handle um, those those situations on trails where you need that torque to get out of those um, corners and up the hills if you aren't rolling into them fast. So that's what I think this thing's going to really uh, benefit on, and we're going to be able to see the big difference when I get this thing on the trails to show you what's up with it. Um, let's see here. Another, Some other things I noticed on it, um, I just kind of noticed a few more little refinements on this thing. Um, Compared to the one I had before, I had like the prototype wheel, this thing just looks a lot more refined. The plastic on it, the front handle on it looks nice, uh, the suspension on it, um, there was no binding points on it at all. It looked like they had put like new washers and stuff all in the suspension linkage, guys. Um, I mean, the wheel really is, the S22 is, there's nothing else like it. I mean, it really is. If you find this to be something you want to get, um, I'm running it right here without the seat on it, but you can still like sit on it and fine without the seat and seated ride it without that. But the seat on it, um, just Velcro's to the top, and I love it, guys. Velcro is um, having a hard time where I live right now because it's so cold outside. The Velcro just freezes. So, um, but if you're in a warmer climate, uh, the Velcro is a great system to take that seat on and off the top. You can always do some after you know modification. Maybe if you want to you know add some magnets, put some you know. E6000 um, adhesive and put some magnets on top. That's what I, I would definitely do if I personally owned S22. This is a demo unit right here. Um, I think I'm going to have it for about two weeks um, to test and then I'm going to be sending it on and um, hopefully can get another wheel. But um, I just, I know the S22 Pro is just, it's something that's really niche. Like you got the other wheels coming out now that people are really looking into. Um, yeah, like Sherman S, everything like that, but this is for the guys that, like, it, it, there's videos that really show and prove um, th that this wheel um, can't be matched by any other wheel out there. Like, if you look at my older videos that I've done on this, um, there's no other wheel I've ridden in the same kind of way that I've ridden this one. I've really done bigger jumps on this one. Um, bigger drops and going into like sections that had like roots and like where eroded and whatnot where it's just um, it's sketchy going into it really and this thing just absorbs it like no other wheel and I think this is a great wheel for heavier riders so people always ask me like what um, wheel should you get for a heavier rider I think this especially now with the 4000 watt motor being able to adjust your suspension back there guys because um, really I mean you, you'll be able to be a heavy rider and then get your suspension dialed in and because it's a coil suspension guys that coil um, once you really get your preload adjusted on it you can this thing will support you know any weight really I mean that that's shock will support a big hefty boy um, and so I think the S22 Pro is a great wheel for heavier weighted guys for sure I thought the, the original S22 was a great wheel for heavy guys but now this one with the better MOSFETs you know, suspension sliders in there, 4,000 watt motor. This right here, um, now that I'm really thinking about it, is a great option for heavier set set riders for sure. So when it comes to suspension electric unicycles, I really think the S22 Pro is probably going to be one of the top top ones to get. Uh, a lot of people with the Bego Masters, uh, the T4s guys, I even know my T4, uh, the air, air suspension in it just leaked over time. Um, so just being completely honest with you, I've seen some people take their masters and put this same suspension in their masters and that really looks like the way to go. But if you don't want to fool with all that and you want to get a good suspension EUC out of the gate, um, S22 Pro is going to be sweet guys. It really is going to be, um, and it's not breaking the bank compared to the other wheels that are coming out that are like $4,000 plus. I think this one is going to be right at the same price point. 
um, as the other S22. It might be a little bit more when it drops, but I don't think it's going to be much more. Like the standard S22 right now on e-wheels is $3,200. Um, that one comes with a suspension slider kit. It doesn't come like the Pro does right now with the upgraded 4,000 watt motor, um, the upgraded motherboard, or the sliders installed, but they do give you suspension sliders. So that's cool. But um, the S22 Pro is going to be dropping on there soon, and you will see the um, site be updated, and it will say S22 Pro on there, and you'll be able to get this wheel that I'm riding here uh, with the 4,000 watt motor, updated motherboard, and suspension sliders installed, which makes it you know just way smoother. Anyways, it's been Chooch. If you enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. I'll see you dudes in the next one.